Carl Ben Eilson is considered one of the greatest aviators of the Arctic. He perished in the 1930s, unfortunately. He's also a favorite son of North Dakota, and we'll hear about his early life today on Great Stories of the Great Plains. Born and raised in Hatton, North Dakota, Carl Ben Eilson was destined for aviation history books. Flight training came from the Army Air Corps. 1918, Eilson then returned to North Dakota, graduated from the University of North Dakota in 1921. He turned to the skies of Alaska for adventure. Sir Hubert Wilkins partnered with the young pilot for an historic exploration. The plan was to fly from Point Barrow, Alaska to Spitsbergen, Norway, over the North Pole. First attempt, April 1927, never got uh, going really. During testing off the Alaskan north coast, the plane uh, crashed. Eilson and Wilkins walked for 13 days, covering 125 miles of polar ice before they got back to civilization. Next year, things went better. On April 15, 1928, Carl Ben Eilson and Sir Hubert Wilkins took off from Point Barrow, Alaska. Twenty hours later, rough weather forced them to land off the coast of Norway. For five days, they waited out the weather in their tiny aircraft before trying to take off. The ice was so rough, Wilkins got out to push the plane. Plan, of course, was for him to jump back in before they got going too fast. Imagine Eilson's amazement on taking off and looking back in the plane not finding his partner. He landed, picked up Wilkins, they tried the same thing again and again. Sir Hubert was left on the ice. The third try they both got airborne. Wilkins had sat in the doorway of the plane, pushed with a piece of driftwood. Little North Dakota ingenuity off the coast of Norway.